Hello, happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week so far and that you had a gorgeous bank holiday weekend. As you can see, I am coming to you live from my office with no makeup on today. Um, not for any particular reason, more that I just want to be committed to doing these videos for you every Wednesday, uh, regardless of what else is happening. And so I didn't fancy putting any slap on today, and so I haven't. So hopefully that's not too offensive for you. If it is, you're probably not watching the right channel <laughs> for your tastes. So anyway, I didn't come on here to talk about makeup. Um, what I wanted to talk about today was uh, the importance of consistency. So if you've been following my page for a while, um, obviously you'll have seen that over the last sort of few weeks I've really stepped up my social media game and I've been trying to make sure that I post regularly, um, I've been planning things ahead in advance for myself, which is obviously something that I do for my clients like um, regularly, but it's always something that I struggle to sort of keep do going for myself. Um, and so what I've been doing is um, writing in like little um, chunks basically, planning out um, a couple of weeks worth of content at a time. So once I've got it all planned out, it's really quick for me just to um, get the images together, get them edited really quickly in Canva and then get them scheduled into my uh, buffer and on Facebook and whatever, wherever they need to go. Um, some people will say that it's not always a good idea to have your things planned out in advance because you want to be reactive and I agree like you don't want to be like planning your whole year's worth of content uh, right now you know planning what you're going to write in December it's probably too far and you may not be in the same place as you are right now when you get to December but I think a couple of weeks to a month something like that and as long as you're open to being reactive as well so if something does come up if there's a big news story that you want to get involved with and post about that's fine you can just shuffle things around you don't have to stick to uh, your plan but having a plan there means that you're not going to be scrabbling around at the last minute trying to work out um, what you want to post and I've been getting some awesome feedback um, on my posts now, if I look at my Instagram or my Facebook posts, LinkedIn I've only just started sort of being more active on, so I don't really expect a lot of, of stuff on there. But um, with, if you look at my numbers on Instagram and LinkedIn, I mean, they don't look that amazing. I've got less than 500, about, I think 490, something like that. Followers on Instagram, about 200 and something, just less than 300 on Facebook. And I get maybe like, I think the most normal I'll get likes and things like that on my post would be like 25, 30, something like that, that at the most really. Um, but it's not really, I'm not a social media influencer. It's not my job to put um, social media posts out there that are to get loads and loads of likes or to go viral. Like that's not my intention when I put these posts out. My intention is to resonate, for it to resonate with um, creative business owners who are out there who are running their business on their own and who need help and I want to talk to those people directly and I want them to read what I write or look at my pictures or look at my images and feel something there and think oh, okay this is the person I should talk to for help it's not about how many likes how many followers how many reshares all of that kind of stuff it's all about um, who I can connect with and I've been getting some great feedback from people I'm um, out and about I've been to like three networking events uh, last week and as I was at one of the networking events a couple of people that I already knew had bumped into and they'd said oh I've been seeing what you've been doing on social media it's really amazing I'm really impressed with what you've been up to you know all these sorts of things lots of nice things people have been noticing but not necessarily liking or commenting. You know, people, there's a lot of lurkers these days, especially I guess, because social media has been around for a, a little while now, so it's not like that newfangled, exciting thing. It's still become part of every everyday life and sometimes we get a bit fatigued with it. So people are noticing, basically is what I'm saying. People are noticing what's going on. Even if they're not liking or commenting, they are noticing. Um, and so just keep that into your, um, into your heart and your head whenever you are thinking about um, consistently showing up on social media and if you think oh well it doesn't matter if I don't post for a week or two no one's going to notice no you're right people won't notice but they definitely notice when you are there so it benefits you to show up to be there regularly so if you're struggling to make time for social media if you've had enough of it if you're sick of it um, and you just love for someone to help you get it sorted out 
get in touch with me. I can help you get a social media plan out for a month um, and then we can look at how we use that as a basis for going forward um, for the rest of the year basically um, and for the rest of your business and for the rest of as long as Facebook exists <laughs> etc. So get in touch if you need some help but if you're going to take one thing away from this is just make sure that you're consistent and show up as much as you can because people are paying attention even if they don't tell you that they are. Have a great day!